Welcome to Lambo and Matt's World of Sports. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Total Pole Nation. Not only that, we need your merch. Like I said, we're in the holiday season still. If you need your merch, you go to TotemPoleNation.com to get one of the best merch in America. Like I said, today we'll be talking about uh, the Gator Bowl uh, that will be happening this Friday, obviously, uh, in Jacksonville, Florida. All right, so the Kentucky Wildcats play the Clemson Tigers, obviously, in the Gator Bowl. Uh, we'll let you know who wins the game and if there's any other things that you need to know about your teams who will win, Clemson or Kentucky. Without further ado, let's get started. All right, well, Clemson uh, is 8 4 this year. Obviously, that's probably the worst record in 13 seasons. Obviously, Clemson averages at least about 10 wins per season, obviously. Uh, but when it comes to the Kentucky Wildcats as well, they hadn't really been that uh, good either. Um, but both of these rosters is going to go uh, through some changes um, as well, uh, as some guys will be going to the NFL draft. Um, Kentucky looks like is at full strength more than Clemson is. Um, when it comes to that, um, the only big question that I have for Kentucky is the matchup when it comes to the offensive line. Um, they got Kenneth Forsey and Jeremy Flax. They're both going to the NFL draft. Um, and Corbin Ford and Dylan Ray um, need to help slow down that Clemson front seven, obviously, which has been very, very um, efficient as well. Um, but when it comes to, when it comes to this, um, I think Clemson's not really missing anybody defensively. Uh, I think all their defense is still the same. All their offense is still the same. Um, they're still going to have Will Shipley and all these other guys. Um, who do I pick in this game? It comes down to uh, quarterback play, I guess. This, this, this is really what it comes down to. It comes down to uh, quarterback play. Um, K Club has had a very successful season. Um, I think it's okay due to his second year in college football, but his first year beating the starting quarterback, obviously. Um K Club with 19 touchdowns and eight interceptions. You also had Devin Leary um, as well as the former NC State transfer with 23 and 10, uh, uh, 23 touchdowns and 10 interceptions, obviously, which is not all that great. But like I said, both of these teams have not played in a month. So who gets the hot hand? Kentucky at 7 and 5, Clemson at 8 and 4, obviously. Um, Kentucky could make a statement, obviously. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take Clemson at the spread at minus four. All right. Um, minus four Clemson, or I can pick Kentucky to do plus four, but I don't know if it's going to be that close to the game. Do Kentucky being at full strength, but Clemson has a good front seven, and Kentucky offensive line is very, very weak. Uh, when it comes down to quarterback play, um, Devin Leary has more experience, but I'm just not sure unless Kentucky can get that run game going. I'm going to go ahead and take Clemson to win this game. Um, obviously, I do not like them that much for very, very personal reasons of why I do not like them. But when it comes to this game, I'm going to go with uh, Clemson here. All right. So Clemson has a chance to get to at least nine wins despite Clemson having their struggles. But they finished the season on a four-game winning streak beating – uh, North Carolina, Notre Dame, all these other good teams as well. So um, I wish there was more to talk about in this game, but it's really not. The Tax Slayer Bowl does come on Friday at 12 o'clock, obviously. So I'll be watching very, very closely to the screen. But Clemson will probably go out and win this Gator Bowl, obviously. But this is it for Lambo and Mass World Sports. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Total Pole Nation. And if you need your merch, go to TotalPointInch.com. This is it for Lambo Mass Sports. Adios. Y'all have a great night.